Hey world, uh, it is 8 in the morning, uh, Thursday. Uh, if you know me, you know that I am not a morning person. Uh, this is really early for me. Not really early, but this is early for me. Uh, we're about to go get breakfast and then head to my first shoot, which is um, some hotels in Plano and Las Colinas. I'm doing some commercial stuff for them. Um, and then after that, I'm going to meet up with somebody to shoot a new YouTube series that's coming out that I'm not going to release info on just yet. Um, and then in the evening, the Mosquito Outlaws are playing because I just did some new videos for them and hopefully they're going to play them today. Um, they might not be able to, but either, either way, we're still going to go um, to the game to shoot some stuff there for them. So I wanted to bring you along see, so you can see what that's going to look like. I do have the splint on my hand. I've been editing nonstop, so uh, it's been really bothering my, my wrist and my fingers. So um, hopefully today will be a good day. I just got to the first location of the Nyla Hotels in Plano. We're shooting at two today, one in Plano, one in Las Colinas. And we were supposed to shoot on Tuesday, but it was raining um, and they um, really wanted some drone shots because the hotel is gorgeous um, from the outside and they said something they really wanted. So we rescheduled to today. Um, but the bad thing about that was on Tuesday, I was supposed to have somebody come out and help me. And on Thursday, they could make it. So um, today it's going to be a solo shoot. Uh, luckily, they don't really have a time limit. So we can kind of take our time and, and set up and, and, and have everything ready. But I'm about to just start off with some drone shots. And after that, we're going to have our actor um, get prepared. And then we're going to start shooting some scenes with her. And then once we're done with her, we're going to shoot the B-roll and then move to the second location, which is all B-roll. And then after that, um, we should be done with that one unless they, they're they going to want more stuff. Pretty overcast right now, which is um, pretty good weather for uh, the drone. But I'm afraid that it might not let in enough light for the rooms when we shoot. So we might have to light that ourselves. So we'll just see how it goes today. Just finished with the drone shots. My hands are frozen because it is like 30 degrees outside. Um, it was very windy, so I had to kind of maneuver the wind. But we were able to get some really cool shots. Um, again, mainly just want to showcase the hotel. Nothing fancy. Just a nice wide of the hotel. The hotel's gorgeous, as you'll see. But um, yeah, we got the we got the drone shots, even though it was extremely freezing. Um, now we are setting up might have to set up lights in there I'm about to double check to see how the lighting is I have a uh, the 18 no yeah the 18 1.8 so um, really wide aperture so I might not and plus I'm shooting on a7 III so the a7 III has perfect low light so um, we might not need it the extra lights but if we do um, we have it with me I just have a soft box it's not we're not gonna be doing much with it um, but yeah let's see how that goes Thank you. 
too. Um, there are certain areas that are too dark for my liking. Um, the windows are open as much as they can be. And there's just a few areas. I wanted to show you this one area here in the bathroom. It's not very well lit, you know? And yes, I am on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. But this area right here, I did not like. And I'm trying to find a, a place to hide it. And I'm gonna be coming in from here, pushing in like that. So I'm not gonna get too close to the floor. So I was thinking, just put this light in this trash can and have it bounce off that. Now, I might have to just push in like that. It lights it in pretty, lights it pretty, pretty well, a lot better than what it was. Um, I, might, I might run with that or I might have to switch it, we'll see. So we're on our way to Las Colinas to shoot the second one when my transmission blew out. Or it didn't blow out, but my car messed up with the transmission, so. Alright, so I just got home after getting my car towed. And what I would suggest to everybody right now is to make sure you have triple A or any type of roadside assistance. Um, because I have AAA, I was able to get my car towed for free. I mean, I pay monthly, but I was able to get it towed for free up to 100 miles. Um, so, I mean, that was perfect, you know. I recommend everybody getting, like I said, a towing service. Um, to have at your disposal because in those moments I didn't even panic I just knew that I needed my car towed called AAA and they were there within 20 minutes so we just made 